Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, this video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about the original Xbox. So I was a first day adopter of the original Xbox, and I absolutely loved the thing. It was everything I wanted it to be, and even more. Um, I know a lot of people mainly just bought that machine so that they could continue to play Halo, uh, or just start playing Halo, and Halo 1 and Halo 2, and that's pretty much the only thing they used it for. But um, these are some of my favorite games that I have for the original Xbox. And uh, the, the first one is Air Force Delta Storm, released in 2001 by Konami. Air Force Delta Storm is actually a continuation of the Dreamcast game, Air Force Delta. Um, and it's even a little bit more over the top, where you're flying through mountains and destroying planes that haven't taken off yet. And you're flying these amazing aircrafts that are, the air aircraft that are able to do things that you just can't even imagine. And the missions are just so over the top. It's it's like Top Gun and Iron Eagle all rolled into one with a really good rock and soundtrack. And I, I can't suggest this game enough. And it's just it's so much fun. The only thing that it was really missing was like online multiplayer. Next up we have Dead or Alive 3 by Team Ninja, released in 2001. Me and my friend Sam were really, really good at Dead or Alive 3, especially the tagging in and tagging out part, where we would tag each other in during combos to do even more damage to our opponents. And this was like one of the first times that we kind of experienced that. Uh, we both got really good at counters, and it almost got to a point in that to, to where it was like, it wasn't really who was going to win, it was mainly who was going to get frustrated and throw the first punch and then get countered. Because uh, that's that's how all of the damage got dealt out during our matches, was during counters. But it's a great game, it's a wonderful uh, engine. I do love the countering system in there, uh, although some people feel that it's a little bit over the top or a little bit cheap. Um, the cast of characters is wonderful, and you know what? You get that dead or alive bounce. Uh, so, <laughs> next up we have Panzer Dragoon Orta, released 2002 by Sega. And this game is awesome. Uh, it's definitely part of the Panzer Dragoon uh, series, but it's definitely like in its own vein. And I know a lot of people really, really wanted Orta to be Panzer Dragoon RPG 2, but it's not. It's basically another on-rails shooter where you're just running around having fun, blasting away at all of the enemies, and if you pay attention to the storyline, it's there and it's actually pretty good. But, you know, if you don't want to, there's still a lot of fun to be had just blasting away and just killing all of your enemies. Get ready. Next up, we have Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast, released, what do you know, in 2006 by Sega. Uh, this game is Outrun, and it is the good Outrun that, like, you fondly remember from the arcade, but even better, because the, the, X, the original Xbox was more powerful than, like, any of those old arcade machines. And Coast to Coast introduced a lot of new, interesting things that you can do, and it still has the branching paths and everything else that, you know, pulls on your nostalgia for the game. And, like, all of the really good soundtrack and stuff like that, and it's just a lot of fun. I'm, and if you can afford the game, get the game. If you can't afford the game, well, you can always, you know, modify your original Xbox to increase its longevity, and then have all the other, other benefits too. But that's it, guys. That's it for this episode. If you discovered a game in this list and you found out that you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments below. You know, I'd love to hear from any of you, um, but that's going to be it. And we're just going to... and I'll <laughs> But that's going to be it. 
We're going to see you on the next one and have a wonderful day. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.